Hello, in this video we are going to implement the game over state. So the game over state will occur when one of three conditions occur. If the player wins, if the player loses, or if the actual game is a draw, and then you'll go to a game over state which will have a retry button and a button to go back to the main menu. It will look very, very similar to the pause state. So let's just implement it right now. Go to your definitions. There's one definition you need to create, and that is the actual button. It's going to be a retry button. We'll reuse the home button. We want to keep the actual button consistent, but we'll need a retry button for, well, retrying. You might be thinking, aren't we going to create a background file path? No, the reason is we're not going to actually be adding a background. We're just going to be using the color feature within SFML to color our background red but you can easily change the color or add a different background using a sprite. So once you've done that you want to create a header file and a CPP file as we've done in the previous few videos for your new state. So just add it however you have been doing using your IDE and text editor. It's the way I'm doing it in Xcode and this is going to be called game over state. I'm going to copy that and you'll see in a moment why. Actually, forget about me copying it, <laughs> that was a stupid idea. So I'm just going to copy the main many state code, paste it into here, and as we've been doing before, just replace what we need to do with like game over state, copy that, paste it here, and we don't need a background. All we need is two sprites, and the first is going to be a retry button. Retry button. Next is going to be a home button, like so. Now, what we want to do is actually implement the CPP side. So, if we open up our pause state, not the main menu state, it'll become apparent in a moment because we'll reuse a bit more code of the pause state. Remember, I said it's very similar. So if we paste this here, so now let's just go through it line by line and make sure we've got the appropriate code here. First of all, this needs to be game over state HPP. We want the definitions, that's fine. Game state, that's fine. We want main menu state, that's a okay. Let's change this to game over state. Copy that and paste it here, like so. Paste it here, here. Yeah, and finally for the draw method as well. So now let's sort out the initialization method. We can get rid of this line. We can replace this with retry button. We don't actually want the home button line because the asset has already been, actually the asset may not have been loaded because the user might not ever pause. So we still want it in here. So we still want it there. So what we'll do is, but what you'll do is just override the asset if it already exists and we'll only have one instance of it loaded, which is fine. Now, what we want to do is just get rid of the background texture. We want to retry here, so retry, change this to retry button. Home button is fine. Now for the positioning, we are going to be setting it in the same way. The only things that we need to change are resume button to retry button, like so. Home button, home button is fine. Now for handling the input, what we need to do is handle it in a very similar way. This is going to be retry button. Instead of removing the state, both times we are going to be replacing the state because the game state will no longer exist because the user has imposed it. It's been removed because, well, the user has either won, lost, or drawn, and we don't need that state anymore. So we put this here, and if you retry, we want to do game state, like so, and we want to replace the current state, which is the game over state. Main menu state there, that is fine. If we scroll down to the draw method, we can actually get rid of this and just rename this to retry button. So that is our game over state or done. 
At the moment, we obviously don't have the condition to show this because we don't have the game logic implemented. To make sure it's working, what we're going to do is go to our game state.cpp, comment out this line. We're going to also copy and paste it as oof, copy and paste it as well. And we're simply going to use the pause button as a test bed for checking if our well games overstate is working. So we obviously need to include the game overstate. So game overstate HPP. Scroll down and need to change this to game overstate. The only difference here is we need to set this to true because we've lost or we've won or we've drawn and we need to get rid of the game state by replacing it with the game over state. So if we save this, run it now. Actually, I'll let it run first before I'll explain one little thing that I forgot. If I just play it, click this now, we get this game state. I mean game over state. If we click play, actually, didn't work properly because that should actually be a retry button so you need to have a look in the definition file retry button that means in the game over state cpp ah we was using the wrong define so if we run this now we should get the proper retry button so let's wait for the splash screen to disappear click play click pause or game over button technically retry and that's not unpausing it that is retrying it obviously once we've got more items in the game state you'll see that the difference between the pause it unpausing it and retrying the only thing is if we go to game over state the background's black we actually want a red background to do that if you go to your game over state cpp where it says clear if you do sf color now red you can actually have a red background there, which is pretty cool instead of creating a separate image. Play. And we can retry and we can go to the home screen. So that is it for the game overstate. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on my educational platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There will be a link available to that. Also, with this video, there will be a link available to the GitHub page, which will have all the source code, so feel free to check that out. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.